Now this one I've heard quite a bit. The fossil record speaks for itself and it proves evolution. Really? Well, first of all, evidence like the fossil record doesn't speak for itself. It's interpreted through a person's worldview, like looking through a lens. We all have the same evidence in the present, the same rock layers, the same fossils, etc. And we interpret this evidence in regard to the past through the lens or worldview we use. An evolutionist will interpret the evidence through the lens of what he's been taught about evolution in millions of years. But a biblical creationist will interpret the same fossils differently through the lens of the Bible. Now both are looking at the same evidence in the present, but both are interpreting it very differently. So looking at the fossil record in the present, because that's all we have, and interpreting it through the lens of God's Word, we find that what we actually observe in the present confirms the interpretation obtained by looking through the lens of the Bible. Now, the only meaningful place to start is with the word of someone who has seen everything from the beginning and told us exactly what happened. That someone is God, who has given us a written account of the world's true history in the Bible. Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now, God's written word tells us that during creation week, God created different kinds of animals and plants according to their kinds. The implication is that they will produce after their kind. That's exactly what we see today, isn't it? An elephant produces an elephant, a dog produces a dog, and on and on. Now, on the sixth day, man and woman, Adam and Eve, were also created, and God declared everything very good. It was complete and perfect, and there was no death because there was no sin. Later on in Genesis chapter 3, it is revealed that the man and woman being tempted by the serpent rebelled against God, broke his command, and sin and corruption entered the world. In fact, the entire creation was altered and is no longer in its originally perfect, very good state. People and animals began to die. But could gradual death in such a short period of time account for the fossil record we observe today? Not only that, to form a fossil, the animal or plant has to be covered quickly. And since we find billions of fossils all over the world today, something that could have killed billions of things rather quickly had to have occurred. Not to mention, we also find many fish and other marine fossils at the tops of today's mountains. So, what in the Bible could account for that? What could cause billions of dead things to be buried in rock layers rapidly laid down by water all over the earth? Well, flip to Genesis chapter 6 through 9 and you'll read the account of the global flood in Noah's day. Essentially what happened is that men were so corrupt and violent that God selected a righteous man, Noah, and his family to build a huge ark and get in it along with a pair of each land animal kind. And then God caused a worldwide flood. The water gushed up from the ground and water fell from the sky. The earth was totally covered with water and all land-dwelling, air-breathing creatures outside the ark were killed. All of them. It was a massive and destructive event. After more than a year, the waters had subsided enough that Noah and his family and the animals could get off the ark. Now, what would a worldwide flood do to the earth? Well, far too many things to discuss here, but it would have definitely totally changed the earth's terrain. It would have tossed things all around and it would have destroyed billions of plants and animals, burying them all over the earth. So based on the biblical worldview, we know that God created everything and it was perfect. But because of man's rebellion, people became corrupt and all kinds of things began to suffer and die. Because of man's continual violence and corruption, God destroyed all people and all other land-dwelling, air-breathing creatures in the world, save Noah, his family, and representatives of all land-dwelling, air-breathing animal kinds, with a global, catastrophic deluge. The fossil record that we observe today makes perfect sense within the biblical worldview. Now I could go on and on, but enough said.